Hi again, here we are to continue with our, our page view controller and finish up hopefully our um, onboarding example. And uh, you know, so far we've got a, uh, a project set up that uh, displays some views or view controllers in the page view controller. And on the last page, there's this done button. And so far what we have set up allows us to tap the done button and it prints a message here. And so what's happening is our, our button is coming from that last page and calling in view controller the, the method here, last page done, right? And this is the message that we see. And the thing about this is if we take a look in storyboard here, what's happening is the done button here on page four is sending a message all the way up here to this view controller. And what's you know happened in the beginning here is that this view controller created an instance of page view controller and placed it here, you know, on top as a child view of view controller, right? And so what we'd like to do is we'd like to transition from this view to another view. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make another view controller here. And I'll take view controller and, you know, view controller from my library here and place it onto the screen. And, you know, this can be anything. Like, this would be your app. And so it could have a whole bunch of other views attached to it. It could be a table view. It could have all the code in the world, you know, in here. Um, what I'm going to do just for now is put a label in the center here. And uh, maybe I'll make the text on that label a little bit bigger so we can see it. And we'll call this one, we'll call this, you know, um, app view. How about that? Okay. So I'll place this here. And then maybe we'll put some constraints on it. So I'll just go to the auto layout issues button and say add missing constraints and that should constrain it. Maybe we can make this a little bit smaller too. It's taking up a lot of space. There we go, right? Okay, so so when you enter the app, we want to do the onboarding sequence, which is going to be these pages. And when you get to the last page and tap the done button, we want to get rid of the page view controller and all those pages with it and replace it with the app view. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to give this app view a name. So I'll go into um, to the identifier here, the, the you know identity inspector, and we'll give it a storyboard identifier. I'll call it app view. How about app view controller? I don't know, right? Okay. And then I'll check the box here that says use this also as the restoration ID. Okay. So these will be the same. Let me copy that name there because we'll want to use that later, okay? So there we go. And uh, now how are we going to do this, right? Well, let's go back to view controller because remember that transition is going to happen from view controller, right? Okay. And it's going to happen right here inside last page done. You know, you can move this to its own function if you want, but I'm going to just put it here. And so what I want to do first is I want to get... Um, I want to get a reference to our app view. So what I'll do is I'll say if app view controller equals storyboard, oops, story. Actually, wait, I made a mistake here. Let's do if let app view controller equal storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier, right? So we're going to call it instantiate view controller with identifier. And then our identifier string is app view controller. That's the name that we assigned it. Okay. And I, if I recall, that's exactly what we did with the, um, with the page view controller. So if we look down here, um, you can see under, you know, view controller at index. Actually, we did it here too um, uh, under view did load. So instantiate view controller with with uh, identifier and it's my page view controller, right? So every time we want to make 
you know, the page view, we, we create one of these, and then for the pages, every time the page view wants to show a page, it does the same thing, right? So essentially, that's just grabbing an item out of, uh, you know, a whole view controller out of storyboard and creating an instance of it. And that's what we want to do here. We want to make the app view from storyboard, okay? So once we've got our app view, then what we'd like to do is we'd like to, um, to get the current view, right? So our current view is this, you know, page view controller, right? And so that's where all the pages are coming from. And what I want to do is I essentially want to swap app view for page view controller, okay? So what we'll do is this. We'll say um, about uh, let current view controller equal uh, page view controller. It's this one, right? Okay, so now we've got a reference to both view controllers that we're going to use in our transition. And we'll need to know like the size, like the area where the transition is going to occur. So I'm going to say app view controller dot view dot frame equals um, current view controller dot um, view dot frame. Okay, so, you know, the current view controller takes up the stage, and it might be different sizes depending on the phone. So when we make an app view, we want it to match this one. So, because it's going to take up, you know, it's going to replace it, right? So we want them to be the same size. And the view controller itself isn't what you see on the screen. The view property of the view controller contains the actual item that you can see, right? So that's the visual the visual part of the of the view, right? So so that's why we have to say, you know, um, app view controller dot view dot frame, right? So the view owns the frame. Okay. So we've got that. So now um, we're gonna notify our you know app view that we are going to transition it into um, into view where you can see it. So I'm gonna say we'll move to it's a parent view controller, okay? So I'm going to say will move to parent view controller, okay? So we're saying like, hey, you know, you're about to move to parent view controller, so if there's anything that you need to do, right? And this calls all those methods like view will appear and, uh, you know, um, view did load and stuff like that. Um, I'm not, I, I can't remember exactly what those do, <laughs> exactly the methods, but it's, it's a bunch of those methods get called from this, right? And our parent view controller is self, right? Okay, because we're going to add this as a um, as a parent uh, as a child view of of view controller here. Okay, so we've got that now. Um, what do we got to do here? We got to do oh yeah, add child view controller right. So we'll do that, and then we'll say let's add app VC right. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. So now it's time to do the transition. So we still actually don't really see the the view controller yet because remember this is we're adding this as a child view controller but we haven't actually displayed the view yet so that's our last step so we're gonna say transition um, transition from view controller to view controller it's hard to read that here but this says transition from view controller and this is the from view controller and then comma the next parameter is to view controller right so that's the one that we want here so we'll add that method in. And so we want to transition from the current view controller to the app view controller, right? Um, and then what we'll do is we'll say, um, you know, like what we want to do with this, right? So we want to say uh, uh, NS time interval. This is the duration. Or we want to say like how it wants to do it. So we'll say like one second. Um, options, um, we'll do transition, and there's a bunch of transitions here, so you can say cross dissolve, curl up, you know, curl down. I'm going to say, how about just cross dissolve is a good one, right? Um, and then we come to animations, which is a block. So this is going to determine like what, um, what type of animation happens here. And you can, you know, so if you want to do a custom animation or something, you can put that in here. I'm just going to hit return on that one so it fills in the block there. And I'm actually not going to do anything here. 
So I'm just going to put a comment in there. Um, you could do some other animation here if you want. And then I'm going to go to completion here. And this is another block. So this says when the transition is complete, what is going to happen. You can put a block of code in here. So I'll, I'll highlight this area and hit return. And then there's a parameter here that says um, bool. And this is a, a parameter that says like it, it, it gives you a, a Boolean that says whether the transition completed or not. Maybe something happened in the middle of the transition and it didn't complete. So this is going to return to us a property that will be, um, I'm going to call it completed. And it'll be true if the transition totally completed fine without any anything interrupting it or false if there was a problem. So I'm going to I'm going to put a completed there colon bool, right? And then um and then now once our transition is completed, what we'll do is we'll say um current view controller dot remove from parent view controller. I think is the one we want. Yeah, that's the one, right? So we're going to say remove from parent view controller. Okay, so that removes the old one. And then um, we're going to say app view controller dot uh, did move to parent view controller. Okay. So we did will move to parent view controller. Now we're going to be did move to parent view controller. So we're just notifying our view that, hey, you know, you've just made it into the, into the, you know, view, the parent view controller and you're on display now. And, you know, if there's anything you need to do at that point, you know, this is going to trigger it. Okay. And then we'll say who our parent is and that'll be self. Okay. So anyway, so that's pretty much the whole thing, right? So we're going to, we're going to test this out now. So I'll click the, uh, the play button and wait for it to build here. Oh, there we are. So now I can swipe through my views here and I've seen all the onboarding and then I'll tap the button and then it fades out and we end up at the app view. Okay. Um, and there you go. So, uh, so that pretty much completes the whole thing there. Um, of course, in this one, we're going to see the, um, let me test it one more time. Every time we start, we're going to see the onboarding again. So maybe we want to, maybe I'll do one more video where we hide the onboarding after you viewed it for the first time, right? Or after you've tap the done button, right? But anyway, that, that covers everything there. And that's a, that's a lot of material here about managing view controllers and using the page view controller and, and using a child view controller and a protocol, right? So hopefully that's useful for people and uh, thanks for watching.